right, so we are on the way to the Land Rover Kentucky three-day event, and I thought it would be a great opportunity to catch the winner from the advanced <laughs> division at the Ocala International three-day event, Jamie McAllister. That's that, me. That's, that's you. That is me. That is you. <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, Real quick, I just thought it'd be kind of fun. I'm going to try to interview a bunch of different people and put it on the YouTube for everybody to see. Um, so, Jamie, just tell us a little bit about your horse, how you got him. I know I know the story, but everybody watching does not. Uh, I got Ted back seven years ago now. Uh, he's coming four-year-old. And um, we just kind of worked through the levels together over time, kind of slowly picking away at it. Um, and so... Running into the weekend, obviously, that was a tough enough course. Um, you put in a, where were you after dressage? Second? Uh, yeah, I believe I was in second. All right, yeah. so put in a good test. And then, um, you know, we walked around the cross country. What was your feeling sort of of the cross country course when you were going out there? Um, I thought it was, I thought it was pretty technical in a lot of spots. Um, I didn't think it was necessarily as, as big as some of them, but I think that the questions that Jay put out there were pretty, were complicated enough. So. And, and Ted was, he was pretty good the whole way around? Yeah, yeah, he really was. He was really good. Um, it was, yeah, so he was good everywhere, and it rode, it, it rode really smooth, and I felt like it just kind of flowed all together really well. There wasn't a lot of, I felt like, kind of the stopping and going of a course that sometimes can get that way. It just kind of flowed really nice the whole way through. Awesome. And um, I know you show jump before that, but yeah. sort of backtracking. So show jumping, I know that has been a little bit, sometimes he can be a bit tough to get a clear round out of, but he really yes. put in a pretty awesome round there. Yeah, I think a lot of that's had worked up to our warm up that right. we've kind of come up with with him. Uh, he's not the most careful horse in the world. And um, I've had to kind of figure out his best way to jump. And I think the warm up that, you know, I've kind of figured out has really helped us with that. So having one rail is, is a good day. Right. For it's a I. super top secret warm up. We can't let anybody <laughs> super, know. Super, super top secret. Yeah. In fact, we probably should have blinders up we, we, with my jump. Yes. Just on your jump. It's not a bad we, plan. We probably should. Um, okay. And so then we got home, you got back to your place, you got your horses all sorted out and mm -hmm. now we're on the way to what is likely going to be a soggy Kentucky three day event. Yes. And you were saying you haven't been there in a long time. 23 years. Wow. <laughs> I haven't been since it was, I guess, the old three-star, now four-star. And so what made you decide this was the year you wanted to go? Well, um, I have some friends that I'd like to watch uh, go. Who? And, Who? Well, it's this one kid I know. Right. Zach. He's all right. Zachary. 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 Zachariah. Zachary. Zachary. Brant. Brant. Yep. yep. And um, I want to come up and uh, watch him go around, which I'm. he's going to be amazing. Yeah. And um, I want to check out the four short. And I just um, have never actually in person been at a five star. Right. So I've always, you know, it's never worked out because now that I'm full time in Florida, I'm not going back up north and then having to turn around and, and, and go somewhere again for the weekend. Because right. I, get, I mean, I have kids and school and all that stuff. So now that I'm full time in Florida, there's no more packing up and going back north and and are you prepared yeah. for the fact that this is going to be a house party the entire time we're there staying with the uh, brands? Yes, but I, I do have my own room. I may retire early. You think you have your own room. <laughs> I hope I have my Zach own room. Zach says you have your own room, but it is Zach. Oh my God. I really hope I have my own room. If you don't, I bet there's a room with a big closet. You can have a closet. I might have to. All yeah. right. I can't see myself staying up uh, super late <laughs> since we've got on the road at 1 a.m. Yeah, so. it's been uh, been a journey. All mm -hmm. right, well, I appreciate you doing this, and uh, we will be back with more interviews of people once we get to Kentucky, and I'll try to keep posting stuff on the YouTube channel, guys, so please go check it out. Also, make sure you guys go to I Love My Horse to get your John and Rick Show t-shirts so that you can get autographs of all the four- and five-star riders, and the person with the most autographs or the first person to get all the autographs oh. uh, gets to come on the show for a segment and they can talk about anything they want to really as long as... We're not going to hire a kid. 
to get all the autographs for you. Yeah, like I'll I find mean, there's a, no rules. I know I'm gonna go. The find only a rule kid. is you can't do forgeries because um, we will be inspecting the signatures to make sure that they are authentic. I'm gonna find a kid and I'm gonna hire him. That's not a bad plan. Um, but go get your T-shirts from I Love My Horse, and then also, guys, make sure you check out Jump for Joy. They're in the vendor area as well. Um, so there's lots of great shopping there, and please check out all of our sponsors' shops that are there. So uh, we appreciate it, and uh, yeah, we'll be back shortly. All right.